Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie for Diesel Dollar Budgets and today we're going to be cash stuffing our pay second paycheck in May. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, please stay tuned for more. Hi guys and welcome back. So as you can see here, we've got $700 to stuff into our cash envelopes for the second paycheck in May. So let me just get this out onto a cash tray and then we'll get started. So now that that's on a cash tray, I'm just going to get my treasury wallet, and this is what I normally use to carry all my money around. And I'm going to see what we've got in here for leftovers for this fortnight. So just looking in my notes, I have $15 here, which I'm going to put to the side. Then looking in the coins section, have I got any coins? Yes, I do. So that'll go into the shrapnel jar. Um, I have already taken money out partway through the fortnight so that I can, you know, just not have to have all that change in the in my wallet so I'll put this into the shrapnel jar so that we can save that for the rest of the year. Uh, then I've got my uh, receipts in the back here which if you haven't been following me or you haven't already signed up please go and use my code on the sidebar here for receipt jar. You can scan in your receipts and then get points to go towards any cash rewards cards that you want. We've been saving ours up for Christmas this year, so if you sign up, you get 200 points and I get 200 bonus points for recommending you to sign up to the app. So if you haven't already um, signed up for a receipt jar, please use that code. So I'm just going to stuff what I normally would into my wallet and we'll see how we go from there. So for groceries this week, I'm going to be putting in $350, or Fortnite I should say. So we got 51, 52, 53, 50. So 350 to go into groceries. Just in there. And then just going to take $50 for my petrol. And I'm going to take $20 for my splash cash. And then Luke will also get a $20 note going towards his splash cash. So I'll just put that to the side. So that's everything in my treasury wallet stuffed for this fortnight. Let's get on to our sinking funds. So our sinking funds are in my black pebbled Moterm personal size wallet. And I've already filled in the trackers at the back here. So we're going to be taking $20 for emergency. So tw emergency now has 20, 40, 60 and 80 dollars in there. So we'll just put that back into that envelope. We then have pets. Pets currently has 20 dollars in there. So I'm going to add 40 dollars to that. So pets now has 20, 40 and 60 dollars in there. They'll go towards Diesel's dry dog food or something like that. Which I believe we're going to Costco next week so that we can get his food. So we'll that'll probably disappear then. Gifts, we're going to put $20 towards that. So gifts now has $20, $40, which will be good. We've then got her birthday, which is for my birthday. And my birthday is next week. So this will probably go towards like a dinner or something like that. So putting $10 in there. So we've got 10, 20, 30 and $40. Now, I know that doesn't seem like it's going to cover dinner, but, you know, we'll probably end up putting some of our grocery money towards it as well, um, just because we didn't stuff all that much money in there. Uh, but it's okay. It all goes towards something in the end. Then we've got uh, his birthday. So his birthday is also going to get $10. So that's got $10, $20, $30, and $40 in there as well. And Luke's birthday is in July, so... It's all good. He'll get more money so that we can be able to put that aside for his birthday as well. Now, health got emptied because we did end up having to get some medications. So I'm just going to put $10 into health and that'll go towards what we need for this fortnight. Oops, get in there. Subscriptions has not been touched, but we're going to put $10 in there as well. So subscription now has $10, $20, and $40. Then we have our Diesel Dollar Budgets envelope, which is my envelope for anything to do with this channel or any of my hobbies and that sort of thing. So that got cleaned out, so I'm going to put, just put $10 in there for this fortnight. 
and that will go towards you know anything that I need to use for my hobbies or this channel or anything like that and then we've also got the pile of shame fund which is for Luke's YouTube channel um, we did end up going shopping and he did end up buying a few little bits and craft pieces for his YouTube channel please check out the link on the sidebar here or in the description down below to go and have a look at all the miniatures that he paints he's really really good at it and I really encourage you to go and check it out so he got cleared out as well so he's also going to get ten dollars for this fortnight and with that being the last envelope in this binder that's this one stuffed. Let's get on to our savings challenges. So here I have my Pebble Deep Teal binder from Moterm that acts as our savings challenges. So the first savings challenge here we've got is Christmas. And for Christmas I'm going to be putting $20 in here for this fortnight. So I'll co colour in two of these Santa Paws little emblems. And just grab a $20 note. So in Christmas we now have 20, 40, 60 and 70. So you know that goes towards Christmas for this year and luckily we don't have to buy anything for Christmas as in like you know groceries because we're not hosting Christmas this year so that's going to just go towards uh, Christmas presents. The next challenge is our autumn seasonal challenge and I'm happy to say that we're going to be completing this one today. So we're going to be going through and colouring in week 11, which is $20. Week 12, which is $10. And the bonus of that one there. And I believe we're also doing last day of autumn as well. Just let me check that. So we're also doing that $25 for the last day of autumn. So $65 is going in here. So 50, 60, and five. Just add this to the cash. Now, um, if you had seen that before, $100 has already been removed out of this savings challenge for our bills. So I'm going to count that $100. So 100, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 85, 90, 95, 100, not 310, 310. Hmm, that's a little bit weird. Maybe I've done that wrong. Maybe I've already put that hundred, that ten dollars in. I'm not sure. So hold on, let me just count that again because I'm not sure what I've done. So 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, no, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. No, I just can't count. So there's $200 there that I can put into our savings challenges or into another savings binder. So that's really good. Like that challenge is now completely stuffed. We'll be able to start on the winter savings challenge next time. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. That challenge is fully stuffed and we can move on to the next season. So the next one we've got here is the quarter two savings challenge and I'm going to be putting in 20 for week 22 and 10 for week 23. Let me just check that's all I'm putting in. Yeah so that's going to be $30 so a 10 and a 20. So in our quarter two savings challenge, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then there's another $50 that we've taken out as well. So that's one, yeah, yeah, 190. So that's doing really, really well. And that'll finish at the end of June as well. So I'm really, really happy with that. You know, things are coming along nicely and yeah. Uh, the last challenge we've got here is our $750 challenge. So whatever's left here, I'm just going to put into this challenge. So we've got $5, 10 and 20 So I'm going to put $20 in here. We've got a $20 puppy bank. Yes, we do. So in the $750 challenge, we now have 20 30 40 
55, 55, 65, 75. So 75 dollars in the 750 dollar challenge. So we're 10 percent of the way through, which you know nothing to sneeze at. I'm not I'm not bothered about that one continuing really quickly. That's just going towards uh, the new puppy that we're going to be getting for my service animal. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that because this is the last of our cash stuffing for this fortnight. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like any of the products that you've seen here, other than the ones that I have linked down below um, that are not from my channel, you can find them on my Etsy store. Uh, please follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with anything that's going on and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.